I don't I don't hear Randall. I think I heard you guys, Carly. Oh, yep, I can hear you. How's it going, Jeff? Forward, you? Good. That was uh, summer's over already. Hey oh. guys, I'm about to be on here. You may not. <laughs> oh, now I can hear you. Yeah, I think there was a I'm big delay there. I'm telling them to watch their language back there in the kitchen. <laughs> Under the bus, fully. All right, you can hear me now? Yep. Yes? Yep. Okay, cool. Thank you. You don't have to turn off your volume generally with this new system. We don't end up with nearly as many audio issues. So, uh, <coughs> Oh boy, I got hair issues as usual. That's that's always cool. Um, so here we go. Yeah, there we go. So you guys gonna say come say hello at least before? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Evelyn, let's see here. She's looking for a way in as well. I am not sure that I gave any that initially I gave anybody the right channel because of how I set this up differently today. I'll I'll tell the full story here in a couple of seconds. But um, like I said, you guys do not have to turn off your volumes because I also have control and I can mute you if I want to easily in this software. So it's not a it's not a big deal at all. Or I can even just reduce your volume if you're terribly loud. So it's all good. Hi, Evelyn. Sorry about the mix up here. So the issue to tonight was uh, we had a power outage just before all this. And so we were uh, rushing around trying to figure out how to get online. And I couldn't get messages out to anybody because we had absolutely our, our phone service is so bad here that we couldn't even use cell to connect with any of you guys. Anyway, power came back. We did a quick supper. The other guys are coming here soon. And um, I'm working through Restream now instead of Zoom, uh, which simplifies things in a little way. But I forgot whatever I set up before for the link may not add. I, I think it's a different link that I ended up using. Couldn't figure out how to make the other one work. So there's a new link. So that's it. Uh, actually, I look pretty bright. I don't know why. It's really dark in here right now. I'm going to just go hit my lights. I'll be back in a second. Our other guests will be here. And so that means there'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of us tonight. That's like not happened in forever. So it's very cool. I'm excited because it's been three for the like most of August. There have been three of us. So this is kind of cool. So come on, you guys. So this is Rosebud power just goes out and we told they told us they're going to improve our power system we're going to have less outages but in the process of doing it they're going to have to shut off the power occasionally but they're supposed to warn us so I don't know if the, this was probably just because of the rain and wind today probably wasn't a, a scheduled thing all right I'm waiting for the two there. Everybody else ready? Set to go. We want to start. Winers. Randall, I have a little sidebar tidbit to fill some a couple moments while we cool. wait. Yeah. Piper's in a show um, here oh, in yeah. North Dakota. She is playing yeah. the lead character. 
Nice. What's the show? It's called Annabelle. What is the show? It's Annabelle Broom. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And it's um, performing on Halloween week. And she's Annabelle. Yep. <laughs> that is very cool. Lots of rehearsing to do, huh? That is great. Come from a theatrical background Sydney. there. Headless horse riding going on. Sorry, I know. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I didn't hear that. I was just asking if there's any uh, headless horse riding going on in the play. Yep. Horse riding. Okay, so I'm about to go live. Sorry again for all of the everything else. And sorry, Evelyn, for the everybody for the, the bad link. So do you guys have any, uh, well, here, let's, uh, let's go live. And if you've got an idea for a prompt today, I'm open to it. And if not, I'll give you one and you might hate it. So there you go. Oh, am I live? I think so. It looks like I am. It looks like I've been open since the beginning, or live since the beginning. I thought I just hit the start button, not the live button. Okay, well, <laughs> that's interesting. The whole world has gotten to see how disorganized I am, especially today coming back. Okay, uh, I just need to double check if we're on YouTube. I want to make sure because there are occasionally one or two people who actually follow along. Um, by the way, I've got a couple of, I finally got a couple of things on, um, on, uh, Instagram and on YouTube that are kind of taking off a little bit. I'm hitting like four and 6,000 views instead of my usual 200. So if you're interested in catching up on what's going on, yeah, it says I'm live on YouTube and I got a picture of all you guys in my computer. So smiling faces right there. So I guess we are live. Hey. We're live. <laughs> Welcome to Arting with Randall. Welcome to <laughs> these guys back here. Hello. Troublemakers. Hey. So I'm now up to two interns in the house. This is going to be lots of fun. They're co-conspirators now. So, um, yeah. Yeah. It was an interesting time making supper and teaching them how to use a gas stove and stuff like that there and uh, whatever. All right. This also has been, this was uh, the painting paint out weekend in Rosebud. And in the process, um, it's when they bring in lots of people to paint outdoors and a few to do workshops, but most of them just come and paint. And we had, I think, I think uh, 60 or 70 artists in town. It was kind of crazy. And uh, and some of them painted seven or eight paintings. Some came a day early, uh, but there were up to eight paintings per artist. And then we had a, a show and sale at the end, and it was pretty cool. And we had an instructor from Pennsylvania teaching gouache to some people, which is kind of a cool thing too. And I I did a landscape, but somebody happened to walk in front of the landscape I was painting, so I ended up, you know, doing that <laughs> ah, I love it That's so, beautiful so I just I was I've been painting landscapes all summer and I was like ah, I don't want to paint another landscape I'm done so there we go and so everyone else in the show had all these landscape paintings and I was showing this and there we go like sky's crazy whatever all right so you guys all know uh, jo Josie and Hannah right Piper and Carly Jeff the farmer now. You don't know those guys. <laughs> Jeff, you haven't been around for a while. Things have changed. My life has gotten <laughs> so much better. <laughs> okay? Believe it. Uh-huh. So, uh, Hannah's going to be here for another month and a half at least. Poor girl. Hey. She, Josie's going to be here for probably three and a half months. Even poorer girl. So... <laughs> We'll see what happens here. <laughs> All right. And they'll be both working with me part time. So that's it's gonna be interesting. 
So you guys ready to go? Okay. Any ideas for uh, a prompt tonight? Anything that people have been sitting on, waiting on? If not, I've, I'm going to come up with one. Oh, yeah. Okay. And this is going to be, I think this one's going to be really, yeah. It's the prompt tonight is background. Background. So it could mean you work from the background to the foreground. means that you could just do the background. What would normally just be a background. You could do a story that has a background, a person that has a shady background or an interesting background. You could do background. You could do your backyard. It's ground in the back. You could think about your own background, your history. Draw something from your history that is intriguing or interesting to you or inspires you. Need any more ideas on background? I'm literally going to work on a background on a painting. So that's what inspired me. You know, I get selfish sometimes and well, way too often. And I'm just going, well, I'm going to do a background. You guys do background. But there's so many different ways to do it. Look at the background behind my head. It's people. No. <laughs> negative space. Think about negative space. The background. You could draw me by just drawing the, all the stuff behind me and ignoring me. You can draw a hand by doing that. You can draw anything by doing that. And that's often very interesting. A negative space drawing could be really cool. Mm -hmm. Like, just look at my hand here. If you just drew everything behind it, the hand would appear, but you wouldn't have to have any of the fingers or anything drawn, any of the details inside. And it would just appear. So you could just focus on the background. All right. I think I've given you enough. I loved when I gave you guys trunk the other day. We ended up having people doing the trunk, uh, trunk of a tree, an elephant. We had someone do some uh, shipping or... Um, Oh, the storage trunk, uh, the back of the truck with the, the trunks on, on it. Yeah. Uh, and I did, what did I do? I think I was literally doing a tree, tree trunk myself. So, yeah, I love it when people just go their own ways. All right. So cool. And I also, if any of you have a chance to like turn it so we can actually see your art, I can, of course. I can do something like this. I can just spotlight you so people can see what you're doing. <laughs> or just to see your smiling face. <laughs> so I kind of like this new software. It's a kind of a, a cool, simplified version. And they actually give me some automatic background music somewhere here. Let me see, where do I get that? Oh, and I can also do this caption. Today's theme is... Oh, wrong keyboard. Too many keyboards. So I can just add that there for anyone that's come comes late. I'll put in a different white logo so they can see and I'll find us some music. If I can remember where they put it. Oh, it's, I think, down here. Uh, da -da -da, at source. There we go. Background music. And yeah, we'll just go with some ambient. And if you don't like what's playing, just tell me. And I click, click it again, and they just throw in a different one. Oh, Evelyn's asking. Oh, that's a different. Is there a group chat in here, or just can you all see the private chat? Or, or does that just come to me? 
Can you guys see the private chat? Christine is just on a phone, probably. Evelyn's asking if we can see your trunk. I agree. I want to see it again. Do you have it handy? Your trunk drawing? Christina, do you have your trunk drawing handy? <laughs> I didn't know you were talking to me. Yes, okay. Oh. Very cool. Cool. Love it. Oh, and then there was my burning tree. Oh, right. The burning tree was cool. So it did two. Mm -hmm. And who did the the trunk, uh, the trunks on the back of the truck? Do you have it handy? I'd love to see that one again, because we didn't get to see any of those. You guys are are tend to be posting after the fact, and that so this is cool. Yeah, I heard an oh wow from behind me. So yeah, there is there was nice appreci appreciation. From the peanut gallery so <laughs> it's all good thanks guys <laughs> all right yo okay so on for today's work here Ooh, they actually show me your network connections now and it shows everybody's good net good network. Love it. I'm gonna mute us.
So we've got about another 15 minutes to go. 15 to 20 minutes. There's crying going on behind me, so maybe I'll, you know, if everyone wants to go, everyone wants to go a bit longer. But the thing being that if all of us are going to share, it's going to take a while. So I won't leave enough time for that.
About five more minutes. I see an air dryer at work there. That's handy. I've got, I've got two of those. No. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I already have my number. You already fought that battle. <laughs> <laughs> I would cry. I'm sitting here just laughing at these two right here. They are. Hilarious. I'm sorry you missed out on most of this conversation. <laughs> but so it goes. I didn't want to distract you the whole time. I was distracted the whole time, but it was great. <laughs> okay, just a couple more minutes. Just finish up what you've got going on. Some people again are whining back here, but there's always time to work. Other times, we know that. I know. I sometimes do that too. 
recently had to like let go of things that I didn't feel were done because people were insisting on buying them and taking them away. That's a problem. It's an okay problem to have. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should be a little more protective of my work, but not. I don't take myself too seriously, as you can tell. Okay, I see a few that are starting to look like they're, that it's a done deal. So that's a good thing. We're cool by that. So, clean things up a bit and get ready, ready to share. Let's see here. Looks like everybody's got a good connection with us. So the ones that look the most ready to share, and Jeff, maybe, do you want to go first? Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's just take that ambient music down. And there we go. And you're going to come up here. I'm going to have to get up close. Camera's right there. Light's right there. Microphone's right here. Here comes Josie. <laughs> Oh, there we oh, go. There's a little bit of color. Yeah. Let's see. Let's... It's still extremely wet <laughs> and has not dried. Let me see. What if you tilt it a bit more? Oh, I shouldn't touch the surface. I want them to see that little thing at the bottom there. Can you see that difference at the bottom there? Yeah? Cool. Sketchbook. This was the same sketchbook that that visiting artist from Pennsylvania had, I think. Yeah. Yeah, they did the same ones. I haven't seen these before. It just says sketch. It's got like a million pages. In it. Oh, it's got a huge number of pages. Oh, yeah. Sketch. <laughs> there it says sketch, too. So cool. Uh, so I think because it's got too much contrast, if it's up there back here, it tends to show the differences a bit more. So, yeah, I, I think that speckled sky is pretty spectacular. So how did uh, background fit into your concept there? Um, it was kind of... Can you guys hear her? I can stand closer to the mic. <laughs> Uh, it was kind of inspired by, I took this picture and you, you know, I took it in the car so you can see the mirror and the mirror is kind of blocking the whole view of the actual oh. sunset. So that's kind of inspired this and the actual where the sun setting is blocked by the mirror, which is showing you a different background, which is behind the vehicle, which is the dark, the sky. dark sky. So That's a cool yeah. idea. Two different backgrounds going on there. Jeff likes that idea. Yeah. It's a very, very cool conceptual idea. And I know oftentimes when I'm in the car, I, I just look at things and I go like, oh, that's a cool idea. And then I forget to ever do anything with it. Who is talking when you're breaking up? I can't hear you. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, raise your hand if you're speaking. We aren't hearing you at all. Maybe they're going to send a note. Is it you, Carly, who was talking? I don't know. No? Somebody was talking. It was just breaking up. Maybe it was just background noise. Anyway, did anybody have any opinions on this piece or comments? We didn't hear anything. I got a thumbs up. That's cool. Yeah? Excellent. A couple of thumbs up. Excellent. Thank <laughs> you. Seeing what's going on here. Cool. All right. Cool. Uh, how about you, Jeff? You ready to go? Jeff says he likes the colors. Thank you. Okay. So this oh, is what I should hang on one one. Sorry, I forgot one thing here. Come back here with that because okay. <laughs> yeah, I think if go. I do this, you can see it better. I'm sorry, I forgot <laughs> to do that. There we go. And uh, um, it looks a little yeah. The, as soon as it's, I think maybe if the camera doesn't see. The white sheet. There we go. That's better. There we go. Now we're seeing all the detail. Interesting stuff going on. Makes it much more interesting. And it's still got some really thick paint in the sky. Some very cool stuff going on there. So thanks for your patience for me being a little dumb here, forgetting that I need to solo people. <laughs> all right. Cool. So, uh, so what? Started mine was this. Oh, oh, it's a okay. So it's a that's a what should we call it? Power parachute. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> me last parachute. fall. Yep. Wow, wow! And you're alive still. Yeah, congratulations! I can tell you a story right there. I'm still alive. So yeah. what I got out of it? Some light here was. Oh, let's, put, let's try gun. this. Whoa. Oh, okay. Nice. So I just pulled the parachute out of the whole thing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yep. And tried to make it not look like the bat signal. <laughs> <laughs> it's no problem with it being the bat signal. <laughs> Fill in the blank. Fill that space. And that's that's uh, cool. I think I might go for color. But then, of course, so much for the uh, background idea, right? <laughs> mm. Well, whatever you want to do with it now. that's the, ba the background idea is just the beginning point. From then on, you can go wherever you want with it. So you don't have to be slavish to it by any means. All right. Uh, oh, have we lost somebody along the way? Did Carly? Oh, there you guys are. I had missed you. Have you got anything to show us? Yeah, neither of us are done, but we can show it. Sure. <coughs> Unless you're going to be finished in the next three minutes. No. Not going to okay. happen then. <laughs> um, this is mine. Ooh. Ooh. ooh, ooh. I like it. Lots of drama, lots of angles and shapes. Oh, I'm seeing it now. Yeah. So there's so a figure. Yeah. I'm having, I'm intimidated by putting a person in, but this is going to be Piper and then probably a shadow on, on, behind her this way. And she's on stage. Yes. Okay. I love that. So. <laughs> Looking in from the backstage, that's kind of the background area. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, the, the background of what's happening on stage. I love it. <laughs> Is this? Did you work from a concept or for a photo or both? Uh, from a photo, but I was trying to kind of take the angle of the background from one photo and then her position from another photo. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that's going to work, so we'll see. <laughs> well, I, but it is that's, the photo. 
I think that's something we should all should learn to do is is take our references lightly and uh, and just use them as an inspiration and a, and a starting point, but not to be slavish to them. And I'm learning better how to do that myself. And that's actually my little experiment that I'm going to be showing you is about about playing with uh, possibilities as opposed to being s slavish. So that's cool. Love it. Is Piper ready? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, sure. Whatever. There you go. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> That's so good. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Better, better lighting. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, now we can see the line work so much better. That's so cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You uh you kind of inspired the group here. That's uh, fantastic. <laughs> Dragons are always so cool. Best day. Can, can you hear these guys in the background talking? Okay. Because I'm right here by the mic and they're way back there. But that is gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, that's just so, so, so cool. Love it. By the way, have you, uh, Piper, have you, have you checked out my trees turning into dragons videos, the ones I've been posting? Oh, well, I only had, I guess, the one I posted. I did see one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't post the other one because it turned out terrible. But the first one worked pretty good. So uh, that's the one that's up. Cool. And of course, you are the one who inspired that as well. So that's all cool. All right. Okay, cool. Uh, Evelyn, ready to go? Has he seen that? Oh, we've got more to show? Uh, well, it was from uh, the prompt where it was clouds, so I can show you later. Let's, let's do it. Show it. She followed along on YouTube in a few weeks, so she has some she's not sure you've seen. Right. No, I, there's a good chance that we haven't. And the prompt was what for this one? Clouds. Clouds. Just keep holding it still. It, oh, it eventually resolves. There we go. Nice. Oh, man. I love the flow of that one and that beautifully extended wing. And then the clouds. It, it looks like a very joyous dragon, <laughs> I think. <laughs> very cool. Thank you. And do you have anything else to show before we go? Because I know, yeah, you've been... You've been following along on on well on you, Facebook and YouTube, and haven't been with us a lot, so you might have some a backlog of beautiful things you've done. Well, there was one day, there was one day but the video glitched, and it was yeah. like the previous video, so I just ah. prompt day glitched. <laughs> so the prompt was what? The prompt was, the prompt glitched. So then I just... No, glitched. Oh, glitched. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. This is a, it's a cute dragon. I was going to say the same thing. It's a, this one's very cute. Yep. Cool. Lovely. All right. Let's move on to, to Evelyn. Here we go. Oh, Mm. Oh, nice. So, so is it oh, poetry? So cool. Is it poetry in the background? Oh, I can't hear you. Let's see. Do I have you turned off? I think you might have yourself turned off because I've got your volume up. Might have it was in July. Uh, there at the bottom. There's a micro, a little microphone button. Should be. Is it turned on? And if not, you can go into your settings, and make sure and go to audio and make sure it's set to the right things there. If not, okay, the mic is stuck. Okay, you may not have given it permissions, or. Maybe we'll have to just text, or maybe your headphones will work. Let's see. No, not. Let me try turning you off and on again. 
Oh, that's not working. I think I. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay. Well, another time. But yeah. Oh, another one. Love it. And the the foggy day, the foggy days. Is that what it says at the top? I don't even know. Something like that. These guys are saying super cool. They love it. I love it too. This. Yeah, this this cool idea of inter, uh, juxtaposition of words and images, and sometimes can you hear me the now? yeah, yes. can you hear now? thank you. I can't hear any of you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear you, so you t you talk. Go ahead and tell us. How's that? Still nothing. We can hear you. I am talking. Can you hear us? <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, we can hear you, but there's a big delay. Huh. Okay. 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 So, so there's that. Mm -hmm. So can you hear us or no? And. Oh, okay, no. They say it looks like a weeping willow because of the text. I think that's true. Like the, the, in that one, the words become part of the image. Ah. When my kids are in school, they're giving I can't hear anybody anymore. They were given old textbooks to use as art journals. The background pages inspired these. Okay. Can you go to the settings button and make sure that your audio, there's an audio input and an audio output button there. And you can choose two different things. Uh, sorry. In settings, audio input and audio output. Well, we'll worry about that for next time. I'm going to move on. So, yeah, I did. okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. So, I uh, oh, want you to I know. You. Oh, okay. We, we, we love. Yeah, we can hear you now. I didn't change okay. any settings. They were the same. <laughs> okay. All right. So, I don't know. It could be just the software then. So this one's my background for two reasons. Because that mm -hmm. my church was kind of like that um, in mm -hmm. my background past. Also, I tried to use a sapia pencil because I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. But well, they were talking about how in that one, the words became even part of the image and it looks like a weeping willow tree because of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although yeah, I, yeah. I grew up in Medicine Hat, so there's no weeping willow trees because they require too much water. Yeah. Still yeah. very cool image. And I like I like how both of the both of the things are right on top of the words. And, mm, and, yeah. and yeah, they're connected there. The other one's a little more poetic looking. That one's a little more artsy looking, I oh, guess. Yeah, yeah, that one's a bit more poetic kind of mm. approach. Like almost an illustration to tell the story. And the other one looks like well, mm. we are just taking over this page. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of a very cool look. Sorry that it took so long to get us communicating. I don't know what happened, but it was all fun. <laughs> it's all fun and games. <laughs> Until somebody loses an eye, and so far that hasn't happened once. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of eyes. Speaking of eyes. <laughs> oh, it's going to be flipped, but that's okay. Well, maybe not. No, it's not going to like. Oh, there we go. Sure is. Oh, oh my goodness. 
<laughs> Let's go full uh, full screen with this here. There we go. Oh wow, that's interesting. Yeah, basically just playing with the idea of like danger being in the background rather than what's right in front of you. So these little question marks are interesting. Yeah, and being distracted by that what's there and then background. Those eyes in the shadows, those are that's that's very creepy. <laughs> to, to yeah. Oh, it's just changing the focus. No, it's very uh, different, but that's okay. Yeah, that's very cool. And I like your your glow in the back from the mm -hmm. door. It's very cool. Is it yeah, is it it's, it's semi the same. Like it's oh, not yeah. a glow, yeah. but like looking at it on the iPad makes it yeah. that way. If it would like to focus again, please. Mm -hmm. well. Yes, no, maybe so. There we go. Ish. Yes. It keeps changing how the glow looks. Yeah. On how I angled the iPad. Yeah. But you know that's part of it now, so who cares? <laughs> and, and you'll po you'll post it, and you'll get to see it exactly yeah. the way you've, you've drawn it. But I think it's a very cool yeah. thing. The strong <laughs> contrast. Very strong concept of background foreground going on there. Cool. And all right. Yeah. I always leave for for last. You know who's coming now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Speaking of weeping willows. Oh, yeah. There we go. Wow. Christina, you're just a machine the way you pump this stuff out. It's incredible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very cool. Wow. Uh, so, what inspired this out of the prompt? Or did you just do your own thing? It's about fading into the background, right? So mm -hmm. um, just because uh, there's a little bench with the person sitting with the dom. So with us losing our really noisy German Shepherd, we just, just mm -hmm. kind of got the feeling that one of our friends that passed away a couple of years, years ago tried to go, hey, we're really over here. So now they're in the background they've faded mm -hmm. from our view right uh, but cool. Curly still still's hanging out so. oh wow oh. except he's not he's not making noise every time we turn on your mic <laughs> no <laughs> maybe you'll need to now it's Bailey's just, turn. just bang that jar on the table a little bit for us just so that we can <laughs> just a little bit of noise Make a little noise with it. Just bang it a little bit. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, definitely. We all we all miss Furley for sure. Thank yeah, you. I'm sad that he's gone. So, but thank you for sharing. Appreciate that. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to talk about two different things. One is I'm going to come back to this painting. Well, there we go. <laughs> That's our <dog. laughs> Well, we had one at least. So um, the, the the story here was, uh, as I said, everyone was doing outdoor painting. So uh, I wanted to do a figure, but I picked a pretty large canvas for it compared to what mo most people are just doing little tiny things. And timeline was pretty short. So I think I had about two hours outdoors. And... In the end, the background was just a sloppy mess. It was just, I didn't have enough time to put much concentration on it. So background took second place. And and I was seeing how much the background, it, the colors were stronger. They were bigger areas. They were just applied very randomly. And they were kind of uh, stealing focus from the piece and not looking very good. And so then the next day, I took it in the studio and I had about an hour and a half to play with it before the show. And that's when I reworked a lot by mostly by working negative space and by softening everything, giving it a bit of a soft focus so that the main focus and the, uh, the would be happening here and the sharpness would be there and everything else is a, a much looser painted. The one thing that's painted too tight right now and just isn't working is, is this. So I'm just going to cover that up because that needs to be fixed. Yeah. So, so that's really cool. There's a few, a few more minutes, but there's 
a bit of background of the story as well. And part of that is um, that's probably the fastest I've ever painted anything of that much detail on that scale. And I didn't think I could do that. And so, like, I knew I could paint fast, but I, I, usually I paint very rough and I just paint one subject, not a, not a full kind of piece. And so uh, that was kind of a, an eye opener. And uh, yeah, fairly pleased. So then on to tonight's work here. Uh, so, oh, I did the wrong thing. Exactly what I was not going to do. So um, this is a painting on my wall and I don't like the background. <laughs> Uh, the an blue angel. Oh, uh, Jeff, that blue angel. Nothing's particularly like it, and uh, and I don't know if I'm going to paint over it or what I'm going to do with it, or or continue it, or anyway, who knows? Uh, we'll talk um, another time, perhaps. It's sitting in the background, so that's another background thing. Uh, so this piece, this is the painting sitting on my wall over there. This is the reference photo. You can tell there's differences in the like, but I, I like the differences. Uh, but I, what I loved was how much color I was able to pull from this, this photo and to inspire the piece. And are we creepy over here? Just being this little bit, but uh, iPads are not the same format as other screens, so it just takes up part of it. I guess I could just do that maybe, and then it's not quite so weird. Uh, so my question was, uh, I really like the bottom half of the painting and how everything fades away, but the, I'm distracted by the top. The blue up there seems too harsh. And I wanted to experiment and figure out what I was going to do with the top part. And so I tried a couple of different things. So we'll just show you what those things are. Oops, I'm trying to do things on the screen when I have to do it on my iPad. So the first one I did was just play around with, well, what if I play with what's in the photo a little bit? And I, I did it on the iPad. This is something I always talk about, but I don't do too much myself. But I want to do more of is, is trying out variations to figure out things ahead of time because you can end up doing things and you just don't like them in the end. So I'm not you know, sure how I feel about that. So I tried another one that I had in mind and that is to just go wider with it and to take it down some. And I, I don't mind that. But I think in the end, I kind of, well, I shouldn't tell you what I think, but um, <laughs> part of me think uh, is I like simple solutions a lot of the time. And so there's this one. So what is, what's the votes, folks? What do you, do you like the, like the window like in the back? Right here. Yeah. yeah. What about others? Anyone want to speak up? So that's the, that's the blue background. Here's the white background. Not really, probably finished nearly uh, as much. And then here's the, the photo background. I like the photo background. You like the photo? Is that Piper? Yeah. 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 I'm okay. leaning toward that one too. I'm, 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 I'm a bit torn between these two. I like the simplicity of this one. Yeah. I do indeed. But I also like the feel, oh, sorry, the, the, took the wrong thing away. Uh, with this one, I kind of like the feeling that the whole thing fades from top down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. so I'm not quite, and the painting will be different than this, but it gives me a good idea. I think that either one could work. And, I, and the, the, what, what this has helped me with, it was my initial idea was that I was gonna go in and paint it mostly white, whitish and just oh. fade it back. And I think that's kind of the weakest solution now that I've looked at it. Does um, that make sense? I kind of feel like with the photo that you see more of the guitar and more, more of the mm. light play against the yes. more solid blue. Yeah. So you're paying more attention yeah. to the person playing, changes your focus. Yeah. The more to her face on the dark yeah. blue, 
more to right. the guitar and you have the whole picture. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Which is, and this solution would be a lot easier to paint and a lot quicker. <laughs> yeah. And there's something about that. Well, there's something about that because this painting, you know, again, was done in a relatively short period of time and I don't want to stretch it out too much. Like it looks like, you know, a lot of detail, but, you know, these things are painted really quite loosely in the end. It's just making air, it's making a, every paint stroke count, right? So that when you get back, they all work. But when you're up close, and I mean, that's my favorite thing, I think. Um, when I look at, when I go to a museum or something in a gallery and I see these paintings that were from a few feet away, things look so detailed and beautiful. And then you get it close and you just see how broken it all is and how it's just these loose pieces of paint. Like there's blue in her nostril. She's got blue snot going on there. It's the things you don't notice. Uh, but there's lots of blue poking through and some greens in there and whatever. And someone was mentioning that today about this other painting or the other day about the other painting about the fact that there's so many greens in her and they start to connect her to that natural background that's happening there at the same time. Now, I don't mean to turn this into any kind of lesson time or anything, but... Um, Do you plan on putting the frets and the strings in a little bit? The sort of no, no, no. I think that part of the painting is totally there. I, I think that part of what that's about is that the the music is ethereal. The the music is not so much the instrument. The music is just in the air, and it just takes over, and it's pretty much ethereal. And it happens. I on this other painting, I have some intimations of the strings, and I didn't want to go too far. But that's because that painting overall is more. Uh, a bit more realistic and a bit more uh, grounded. And I find this, for me, this painting is a little more about the spirit, more about the spirit than about the, the actuality. And, and I discovered that in the process because I was going to paint it far more realistically and completely. And I just got to the point where I went, no, that's enough of it. And I have a few other paintings that are like that. It's kind of my, you may have noticed that I do have that thing going on where I've got a lot of uh, white and a lot of paintings. Uh, I often feel when I complete a painting right to the edges that it just feels too blocked in, too solid, too closed. And I like the feeling of something that's open and still feels like it's happening. I. I've got the crow. I've also got that crow painting I did in watercolor sitting over there, and I'm debating what kind of background, whether I'm just going to leave it white, or play with it, or do something very complex. Like I see other people doing. Go. I don't know that I've got it in me to do a complex, a layered background with like text and collage and all that kind of thing going on. I don't think that's really my deal. I keep looking at other people who do it, and I go like, "Ooh, I'm so impressed," and I'm so jealous and I want to do that but I'm going mm, do I really want to do it or do I just want to think about doing it and then I want to do my own thing instead it's often that way we often look at something and go like oh yeah I want to do that and in the end it's really far more about well not so much that I want to do it but I want the con I like the concept of doing it and I'm much happier to just pursue my own thing there's lots of exploration within my own this this white edge background thing it's just come about really of because of painting fast paintings but i actually look back to this one portrait way back when i'm gonna grab it i think it was the first one where that kind of happened you guys have seen it many times but you've all seen this one many times but originally this was going to be all a dark background and um ooh, it's getting like warped and dirty it needs to be cleaned up and taken care of uh but when i got these two like dark wings happening here I stopped and I went, that's all it needs. That's all it really needs. It defines her arms. Also, because there is no white paint in here, if I didn't have these little dark wings here, the arms would be undefined on the outside edges. So I kind of needed that. But then I loved the fact that the hand 
did remain totally undefined. And that's playing with the idea of letting the viewer's eye fill in a lot. Because the more you get people to become part of, um, it's, it's often a very strong thing to let the viewer's eye complete the image for you and not give them everything. They become, they become more actively involved in the viewing process instead of passive, just taking it in. I've often seen where people see something that's very complete and they glance at it and they move on and they see something that's a little more obscure and pieces missing and, and, and hints and clues and they spend time looking and... I keep yawning. I'm trying not to yawn in front of her. I, I know. Well, <laughs> she's super bored. She's really bored. She's really, really, really bored. And I'm just going on and on and on. I made you guys all finish early and then, and I've got this silly thing with my hair going on. I have no idea what that's about at all. And I can't stop it. And it is getting on. So uh, past Piper's bedtime, I'm sure, because it's, it's later where she is. <laughs> yep. And she's like an actress now. She's got to get her sleep. And so she's ready for the stage. She's got her voice ready and everything. Yeah. So, folks, it's been quite delightful. Um, I'm going to go back to. Hello. Oops. There we go. That's what I was heading for. Been delightful. Evelyn's already yeah. left. That's a cool, all cool. Anyway. Randall. Randall. Yeah? Do you want to see it, uh, it a little bit more I, finished? I do. Let's do it. We're still all here. Oh. Don't destroy it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so you, cool. are you going to you're going to keep the the uh, the surround all as just as linear as lines, right? And and I think so. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the strength of it. Is the background is the the reflection in the eye or looking through the eye into another reality, whatever, however you conceive of it, and that focus is all in there. That works really well. Love it. You're almost uh, you're almost home uh, home free on that one. You're, Getting very close. Did you, did you show you the bear prompt from when the prompt bear? I don't remember if she was online for that one. I don't remember. Okay, here it comes, just in case. Yes, I, I've seen it, but I don't think these guys no, behind I me. Have. I saw it. Uh, I didn't see it's it. It's so cool. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. 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 It just gives a whole new scale to the to the beast yeah. and yeah. Uh, makes it love very, very, very nice. So, yeah, I do love this one too. I love the look on the face and the whole thing. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. Dear, alas, for Yorick, I knew him well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So poetic. Yep. <laughs> All righty -o. Um Oh. Donna has been watching. Hey there. So thank you, Donna, Thanks. for joining in. That was like 20 minutes ago. So who knows? She might be gone now. Or no, that was at not 20 minutes ago. That was a 7 and 08. 08. I don't know why it didn't show up till now. But anyway, cool. So there we go. So we actually do have some people that watch us online and follow along a little bit. By the way, Donna was here for the weekend, for the painting weekend, and I think she, I never got to see any of the paintings she did. She wouldn't show them. <laughs> she didn't put, bring them to the show. So you guys all get get online, bug her, and tell her she's got to post <laughs> at least one or two of those. we got to see something. You know, we all show our stuff, so it's all good. Anyway, we, we no, we don't want to embarrass anybody if they don't want to do it. But, uh, but encouragement is fine. All right. Thank you. This is been a real delight sorry i've been away two weeks but uh there's quite a crowd to come back to and more encouraging i thought maybe this fall we'd we'd pull back i uh, come back to more um oh yeah that's right donna was in a meeting so cool so uh, like that that she's uh 
she's watching now. Okay, so she'll be online with us next time, hopefully, if she doesn't have another meeting. And uh, uh, I posted a question in the group. Do you have any ideas of what you want to see happening in the group? Any changes and differences? Uh, some of you know I am also about to finally, finally, finally launch my okay. Learn to Draw and Paint as fast as possible program in the uh, do it uh, on in the uh, do it in your own time version, hybrid version, which will be video lessons and personal coaching uh, in online. So. If you know, and, and in doing that, I'm going to be interviewing about 50 people before I launch it uh, to make sure that I'm meeting uh, what people want. So if you know anybody that would like to be one of the interviewees, it's all at, at oh, who's the f person who forgot? We can't see your name because you're probably watching from the Facebook group and it won't share your name. So whoever you are who forgot and... Mad at yourself. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Just get even. Just show up next time. That's all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Boy, this is this is the this is the longest epilogue we've ever had for one of these. I don't blame you if you leave. Anyway, I think. <laughs> The peanut calorie, really, this this is going to be a whole new experience. Oh, it's Jocelyn. Hey, Jocelyn. Yeah, there you are. Good good to see you, Jocelyn. Well, you can follow the, uh, you can do the replay, follow the prompt. It's a pretty weird prompt. It's background. And at the beginning, I tell you all different kinds of ways you can, you can pursue the idea of background. And we got, came up with some pretty interesting stuff, very diverse. So yeah, I have hecklers, Donna. It is the truth. And uh, somebody come here and help me with these two. Keep them under control. You should have seen us making supper. Kids who, kids who are going like, a gas stove? What? No, come on. Okay. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> the pepper frying was pretty good. Uh, Okay. Yeah, we all got to go, Jeff. It's it's been pretty long. All right. So yes, thank you for the good uh, for the you know they'll have to take care of each other hopefully and um, and that'll be great. All right, you guys have a wonderful night and come back to see the comedy show next week. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Good night, everyone. Oh my God.